Boxes, boxes, boxes. Yes, on this channel you see a huge amount of boxes. However, this one is a little bit different. It is a mystery box, but what retailer it's from, I hear you ask. This is actually from the community. So guys, uh, as you're probably aware, I am so, so thankful to all of you in the community and who support this channel. Discord's amazing. Thank you so much for everyone who makes that such a lively place to discuss things. Uh, obviously the Instagram is incredible. The YouTube's incredible. Our TikTok right now is I think two and a half thousand, maybe getting to three and a half thousand followers. As soon as I started the channel, I had one of the subscribers message me on um, Instagram. Uh, Awesome guy, guy called Robert. Um, I mean, he's been in airsoft for years um, and has really got very good at teching guns. So he turned around to me and was like, hey, you're getting some awesome guns from all of these mystery boxes. Would you like me to take one and upgrade it for you? Or actually a really cool idea for a video, which I threw back at him was, why don't we do a budget? I'll give you a set number and you create the best gun that you possibly can for me with that budget. So I still have no idea what's in here. Um, he's apparently also put in some uh, pictures and some footage of him uh, building out the gun, which I'm gonna show you hopefully at the end of this video. I cannot wait to open this, so I'm gonna stop messing around. Um, George says hi, by the way, George? George, can you say hi to the people? No? Uh, I think he's a little bit more lively than the last video, but he's still, you know, doing his own thing. You wanna give me a lick? Oh, mate, you're actually in quite a good mood today. It's a good thing to know. Um, the guy that built this is called Robert, as I said. Cutter Creations Airsoft is his company. Um, you can go follow him on Instagram. I'll put the link below. Uh, also follow him on Facebook. Um, and actually, you'll see updates of what he's building. Um, I absolutely love what he does. So if you guys ever are thinking about getting a, uh, a gun built out, definitely contact him and see kind of what the cost would be. So, oh my God. So I think I feel a hard-shelled gun case. I was wondering why this thing was so heavy. Okay, that is open and clear. So it looks like everything is gonna be inside this. Uh, I'm presuming this gun case is gonna go around this way. Okay guys, so it's Matrix uh, is the name of the uh, box. Um, so I've heard the name Matrix quite a few times, but this thing is it's really nice. Um, very solid heavy plastic. You like it? You like what it could be, eh? Good boy. Um, okay guys, so I kind of think, what else can I do other than just open this? First ever custom gun for six mil badger. Uh, and apparently people keep telling me I need to take my guns and not just get the ones out of the box. So I've listened to you guys in the channel and here it is. From Cutter Creations Airsoft, the first ever tech gun and it's Oh my god. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera, uh, but he has literally laminated a piece of paper and told me the upgrades he's gonna do. So I'm gonna go through that in a sec. Oh my god, this is so cool. Um, okay, so he's also labeled these up. Instruction manual, charging cords, and accessories for external upgrades. That's awesome. Um, so we'll have a look at that in a second as well. And this original parts so that is so cool guys i don't know do most techs do that actually give you the original parts from the gun as well obviously i don't think i'm going to use them because i mean whatever the, this thing is it's incredible but the parts that are now in it are going to be way way better than uh what these are so i'm quite uh, i mean i suppose you could use it to repair other guns so um i like having them because actually it's just really interesting to see what's been replaced as well as that um, okay, so this as well. I love how he's labeled everything. Such a nice guy. <laughs> okay, guys, so I don't know if you can read this here, but it says from him, a proper knife for opening future boxes. Thank you so much, mate. That's so cool. Um, so a spring-assisted knife. This looks awesome. I really just want to pick this thing up, but I'm trying to kind of uh, build the suspense a little bit. Okay, this is awesome. Um, so it's like a Victorinox kind of style lock flick knife. Oh, that's awesome. Cutter Creation Knife. Guys, please, please go and follow him um, because he made no money on this gun. SanDisk, so I think that this, um, this little uh, thumb drive here is gonna have some of the footage and pictures from the original gun and the build. Oh my God, this feels awesome. Oh my God. 
Okay, so one thing which I'm really, really happy about is this. As you guys have probably realized, all I talk about uh, when I'm at game day sites is I've got a really weird grip. I like to hold it here with my front hand. I always hold it on the magwell or I hold it at the very base of the handguard. Um, and what I hate is having Picatinny and Keylock there because it just gets super uncomfortable after a while. This thing is beautiful. I actually love M-Lock and I think this is even better. It's like a more comfortable rail than that. But this is so, it just feels so good. The weight of it is awesome. Like it's a good weight and it's solid. Like the only thing you can hear rattle is that stock there. Everything else in this thing is so solid. Feels so good in the hand. Um, so you can see it's kind of like a skeleton style. This is obviously all exposed, which is gonna cut down a lot of the weight. Um, I think it's gonna be very, very cool. Okay, so adjustable stock and the actual uh, adjustment is there. And usually it's like down here. That's really, really cool. I just adjusts. It's got quite a few positions. Uh, okay, so trigger, very cool. Flat style trigger. It's got little holes in it. It's super light. Um, this fire selector switch, Oh yeah, okay, so I've been hearing about people saying this, they want it really, really um, tough to push and actually sits in place, and this thing does that for sure. It's ambidextrous, smaller one on the uh, right side, larger one on the left side, feels really good to touch. I mean, this trigger's just so cool. So trigger contact's gonna be amazing. It's actually got skeleton magwell. I've really liked the look of these, because I always think, okay, what's the point in kind of having all this metal here, it just adds weight to it. Also, look at this. Okay, so inside there, it's actually got a little tab which has press to release BB. So I presume if you've got a blockage or a thing, you can actually just press that and kind of release it. Or if you're trying to disarm the gun and actually there's a BB in there ready to fire. So, so cool. I love this foregrip and the silencer. I don't have anything with a silencer on it. Yeah, so I think the barrel comes right up here. It's almost like a little barrel extender. Uh, other things he's given me, flashlight. Okay, so this one hasn't got a battery in it, but that's gonna go on here, I presume. Block my sights with a flashlight. Oh my God, this is cool. This is actually digital, it looks as well. It's kind of like got digital adjustments here, little buttons. Oh my God, so this is how it looks with all the things attached to it. This trigger is just so nice. It just feels so flat in that forward bit. This is also wicked, the trigger guard. It's like such a good space where actually when you've got gloves on, you're actually gonna be able to uh, reach it. And the pistol grip also just feels great in the hand. It's kind of got this widened area right there. And actually I've got big hands. So, I mean, this is what I really love about this is Robert's actually watched the unboxing videos and probably some of the game gameplay clips. And he's listened to my feedback about what I like and what I don't like. I promise you, I haven't told him do this, do that in any way. He's really listened and actually he's created something which, I mean, it's my favorite gun for sure so far. Like, this is better than my uh, SR15 G&G &G Knight's Armament one. Just feels nicer. I mean, that gun feels incredible in the hand. And this thing feels so, so good. Love this guy. So he's connected it to Dean's. Um, I actually always used to use Tamiya because that was what people used. And we didn't use LiPo batteries when I used to play in the UK like seven, eight years ago. Um, I've got Dean's batteries now and I run Dean's in... Uh, my G&G &G, and it's just so much easier like the connection is better like I'm sure you're bored of hearing people say this now but the connection is way better um, to be able to just like pop a Dean's in is is really really cool um, so I presume this can run 11-1 light though I'm just gonna I'll run you guys through the upgrades quickly here as well so that you guys are aware of kind of what he's done for me Okay, so he goes, build sheet for six millimeter badger. Base gun is an EMG F1 firearms PDW airsoft AEG tr uh, training rifle with an ESE electronic trigger. So I've heard about them. I think that's from Evike's like machine group, EMG. So they kind of like custom build some of these guns. Um, so the internal upgrades include Angel uh, Custom Ultimate Upgrade High Performance AEG cylinder set. So I presume that's this guy here. Um, APS ergonomic hand grip, as I said, the hand grip is awesome, absolutely love that. Ace Tech Predator Airsoft Mox Silencer Tracer Unit. So this is a tracer as well. Okay, so a Max Pro model CNC aluminium hop-up chamber, so that's probably where those dials are there. Uh, that's the hop-up chamber adjusting it. EMG Helios three-piece gear set, 12 to one gear ratio. 
So I presume that's increased the gear ratio, so the rate of fire may be faster now. Um, Maple Leaf AST Macron Airsoft AG rubber hop-up rubber bucking. Maple Leaf buckings apparently are the best. That's what I keep hearing when I watch YouTube videos. Haven't tried one myself, so I'm excited to see how that is. Angel Custom Stainless Seal 6.01 millimeter type bore inner barrel with R-hop insta installed, length 285 millimeters. So I think we've got a pretty long barrel uh, which is also uh, linked to this uh, tracer unit now, which I shouldn't have told you yet because that's an external upgrade. Um, original barrel is 200 millimeters. So he's basically uh, put 50% on top of the barrel length of what we had originally, which I presume is going to have some really, really good effects. Uh, Prometheus non-linear irregular pitch airsoft AEG spring. So that's, uh, he's upgraded the spring, which is again, awesome. Uh, Prometheus gearbox shim set, again, Prometheus, I hear great stuff. Gearbox, it's going to be good. I'm so bad with my technology, but this sounds awesome. And an APS high-speed motor 35K. That's going to be wicked. Okay, exterior upgrades. Uh, EMG Phantom Aluminium Trigger. Talked about the trigger enough. So cool. Uh, flat trigger looks awesome. Um, APS Ergonomic Hand Grip. Again, talked about that. I think that's wicked. Uh, such a cool piece of kit there. It's key, key mod as well. Okay, an Ace Tech Predator Airsoft Mock Silence, a tracer unit, obsessed. And I really want to turn the lights off after this video and test that out. A Matrix Airsoft Tactical CREE -E LED Scout Mini Weapon Light. So I presume that's this guy here. Um, a Black Hawk Knox Axiom A-Frame Carbine Stock. So that is the stock there. The other thing actually is there isn't a lot of battery space in here. So I presume it's going to take like a stock uh, tube LiPo which I have quite a few of, so we're quite lucky. Vendetta Precision VP24 Aluminium Hand Stop, which I think is this, and it feels incredible. Um, Firefield Impulse 1x30. Sorry, this is the APS Ergonomic Hand Grip, I think, and then the Vendetta Precision Hand Stop is this guy. Um, Firefield Impulse 1x30 Red Dot Sight, which is there and it's packaged in a Matrix 49-inch large rifle hard case. Extra's done. Okay, so he's also done this stuff as well. Uh, cleaned the gearbox and reapplied better grease to the gears, silicon oil on all appropriate parts, radius the gearbox. Before using or testing, I would recommend a quick tune-up once over from your local Airsoft tech, just to make sure nothing got knocked around while shipping. Enjoy. Well, mate, thank you so much, Robert. I mean, I don't think I could have been more excited at what came out of this box. Like, this thing is just incredible. Um, I think I'm going to have to get him to do another one for me at some stage because uh, if this is what this guy builds, why would I buy regular airsoft guns anymore when I can get this? You know what I also really like? Many of you guys probably aren't aware, but uh, I wear red socks every day. Um, weirdly, when I moved to America, I started doing it about six years ago uh, because my dad did it in the insurance industry in London for his entire career. So I'm known as the real estate broker who wears a suit every day and sweats a lot because it's so hot in LA, but also wear red socks. And the fact that he's got a red cylinder in here, uh, I absolutely love because uh, it's just like a little bit of my personality. Oh yeah, it should do. So this is a 1450-11-1. Yeah, that fits in easy. And I think this is fully charged, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so guys, moment of truth. This is the first time I'm firing this weapon. We'll put it in semi. Okay, George has already left, I think. That was in semi. And I pushed it once. So I think this is a burst fire mode that he's got it in. I'll do it again for you guys one more time. Rate of fire is mental. I thought my G and G was firing fast. Okay, let's try full auto. Full auto is also burst. So I think he's got set on burst on everything, which means that I can reprogram the MOSFET, I believe, uh, and then switch it to either full auto, or if I hold down my... God, this sounds incredible. Like the, the feel of it as well, of the, the action. Um, I think we may need to quickly grab uh, some BBs and quickly try it on the, the uh, smart target. So stay tuned guys, I'm going to go test this on the smart target just to show you what the rate of fire is like. I'm so, so excited. Let me know guys, you guys what you would rate this. Um, I'll give you my rating after we've fired it, but to be honest, it's a custom gun. It's built for me. Um, it's just unreal. 
So I can't imagine it's gonna get anything less than a five out of five or a 10 out of 10. All right guys, one sec, and I'm gonna go and take you over to the Smart Target so we can ta test this guy with some BBs in it. I'm so excited to try this, guys. I'm gonna put in that mini high cap mag. Just sits well, obviously got the high cap, high cap shake. Um, I'll try it with some mid caps as well, but I'm so excited for this. Oh, eye protection. All right, team, let's see how it goes. Shooter ready, 100%. Did you see that? 